So I was diagnosed with CIDP or chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what that is, it's very similar to MS, uh, except instead of affecting like the central nervous system, it just affects the peripheral nervous system. Um, so basically like I started showing signs of CIDP on November 1st of 2011. And I mean, the reason I know the exact date is because uh, when I was at school, I was on my on the track team, and um, we had to keep a running log. So I I just started noticing the symptoms. And I was writing them down and stuff like that. Um, so that was actually pretty lucky that I was doing that. Um, so I mean, the symptoms basically were like extreme weakness, especially like the more distal parts of my body, like my my fingers, my toes, um, even like my head and stuff like that. Um, and by extreme weakness in my head, I mean like it was like really hard for me to, like move my eyebrows up and down. Uh, at one point. Um, so I had, I also had like numb, tingly sensations um, in those body parts as well, um, which also got a lot worse with heat. Um, and it wasn't until actually after about nine different tests, uh, including blood tests, um, a chest x ray, an MRI, spinal tap, you know, all that good stuff, um, that it wasn't until after all that that I was incorrectly diagnosed with Guillain Barre syndrome. So my neurologist was all like, hey, you know, good news, you have Guillain-Barre syndrome. It only gets worse for like four weeks or less. So you should be recovering like ASAP without any treatment. So I was like, well, hey, that's awesome. I mean, at least we know what I have now. And it's not just like in my head. And it's um, because actually one of my doctors said that it was stress. And I was like, well, no, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know, I didn't have to get treatment and I just get better on its own. And I thought, and so I was like, wow, that's cool. Um, and so since I wasn't getting treatment and I actually had CADP, um, it just kept getting worse for months. Um, and I either wouldn't notice it cause it was going so, it was like happening really slowly every day and stuff like that. Um, or I would notice it and I would just be like, Oh, make, make, make excuses. Be like, Oh, well it was just hot today. So it made my symptoms worse or, Oh, I just did too much yesterday or something like that. Um, but after a while it was just too much to ignore. And I did some of my own research and came across CIDP and was like, Holy shit, that's exactly what I have. Um, Naki Amber syndrome. So I emailed my neurologist and said, Hey, I think I have CIDP. So, Actually, he got me in the next day and said, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have CIDP. And uh, at that point, I was walking with a cane. And, like, the last time I saw him, I just, I could walk unassisted, but it just, I don't know. I, I couldn't walk that easily, though. But um, I could still do it. But by then, I was walking with a cane. And um, so after a long battle with the insurance company, I finally got approved for IVIG. And it took about six weeks before it started to actually kick in and start working. But... Uh, by then I was like in a wheelchair um, when I wasn't using my forearm crushes to get around. Um, so clearly I wasn't going back to school just yet. And actually I had to take a year off of school. Um, and that was probably actually the hardest part, this whole ordeal. Because, um, you know, I was 19 years old. It's supposed to be like having the time of my life with my friends and sports and stuff. But instead I was at home in a wheelchair. And uh, so anyway... Uh, it, yeah, so it took about six months for IVIG to start working, um, and since it took so long, uh, or six six weeks, sorry, <laughs> um, and uh, since it took so long, the uh, my neurologist also put me on prednisone for um, six months, uh, at 60 milligrams a day, and I, actually now I'm on 15 milligrams a day. I'm on the table right now, um, but yeah, so I mean, I started to get ve better from the IVIG very like slowly but daily. And um, uh, after about 11 months, like right now, it's like about 11 months I've been on an IVIG and prednisone. And um, I mean, I'm still improving. Um, I mean, when I was at my worst, I was, I couldn't even get into a bathtub um, by myself. I needed help because I couldn't lift my leg up over the bathtub. That's how weak I was. Like I, I was in, I would have to sit down on the stairs and then push myself up upstairs like with my hands and then just like pick my leg up and bring it up each step like I couldn't go upstairs normally either like um so I mean so that's the that's how bad I was at one point and now I'm able to walk unassisted I have a job actually where I'm on my feet for like eight hours a day actually I'm a cook at a restaurant so like and there's heat around me all the time and I it doesn't really bother me anymore I noticed that especially changed when I switched to a healthier diet um and 
so yeah, I mean, I can run a little bit now, not very pretty, but I can do it. Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm still working on that with like physical therapy and stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, I know that, uh, when you have CIDP, then it might seem like kind of like you just feel helpless or hopeless and like you just feel like you're never going to get better but just know that you do get better you will get better and it just takes time and uh the proper treatment for you so some people might, that might mean prednisone some people might mean ivig or uh some people even like stem cell research i know that's that's um like a new method of treatment uh so you know whatever you got to figure out whatever will work for you um because everyone's different Everyone reacts differently, different treatments. But um, yeah, so you once you figure out what works for you, you'll you'll get better. And so you know, just don't worry about that. Things will get better.